Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Dave Adams. In this video, we're going to go over some tips and tricks. This is HTML and CSS for novices. And in this course is for absolute beginners. So let's just dive into this video quickly. Obviously, this is the code from one of the previous videos. I think I'm going to clear it today. And we're just going to go over some quick tips and tricks that help me with productivity. They make me more productive while I'm coding. They make things faster and they make me more effective. So let's just change the title first of all to tips and tricks. Obviously, we're going to clear the code here too in the CSS file. So I'm going to highlight everything. And the, the shortcuts for that is Control plus A to highlight everything. So I'm going to undo it just to demonstrate. Control plus A, highlight everything. And then you can hit delete or backspace or anything, or just type and it will get replaced. So that's our first trick for, for the day. So let's say you want to create multiple elements that are going to be similar, or you're going to create duplicates of the same elements. What you can do is, in fact, the first trick I want to show you is how to create a div. So by default, if you go, if you do a period, in earlier videos, I stated the fact that period, is a symbol for a class. So if you did a period and then you added a name, which we're going to presume is a class name. So let's say class name. So we're going to use comma keys in this one and you hit enter. What it's going to do is it's going to create a div automatically for you. So what I'm trying to say here is if you wanted to create a div with a class name in mind, what you can do is just use the class name symbol or the class symbol, which is the period, and then go on with the class name and then hit enter. So while you're typing, what will make you, what will prompt you and let you know that the shortcut is active or the shortcut will be applied when you type is this Emmet abbreviation thing right here. As you're typing, you're going to see Emmet abbreviation. And that lets you know that when you hit enter, it's going to be applied. So let's say with the same concept, we wanted to create multiple elements with the class name of class name. So what you can do is another shortcut for today is using the, the multiplication symbol. And the combination for this is shift and eight. Normally you shift and eight on my keyboard. There's this multiplication symbol. It looks like an asterisk. So you can do um, the, the div, the asterisk symbol, and the number of duplicates that you want or the total number of elements you want. So it could be five, it could be 100, it could be anything you want. When you hit enter, it's going to create exactly that. So I did 100, which is silly, but you get the point. And the same can be done for IDs as well. So you go with the ID symbol, which is a pound sign or a, ha or a hash symbol. And you can do ID same. So it's going to create a div with ID. So by default, that is what's going to happen. When you just use the, the symbol, when you add a, a name, it's going to create a div. So one thing you could also do, let's say you wanted to do a paragraph, you can just do a P instead of now typing the, the angle brackets and then doing it, even though it's going to complete it for you to be faster, you can just do a P. And if you want to give it a class name, you do the period after the P right after the P no space. And then you do the class name, the actual class name, and it's going to create that for you. So you have a paragraph with class name P. So that's one way to do it. Now let's say you wanted to place some text. So let's do um, example. Let's undo what we did, right? Let's say you wanted to play, play some context right off the bat from, um, as you're typing, you can do a, a Kelly brace and then you can type the content that you want to go in. So this is an, um, example text. So now let's see what happens. 
Let me get this spending right. And then let's hit enter. So what happens? You get your paragraph with a class name, example, and then you also get your, your text contents within your paragraph. So that is another tip. Okay. So now let's revert back to when we created the, the duplicate elements. Is that going to work? Oh no, it didn't. Okay. I mean, we can still do it. So let's do example times 10. So asterisk 10. It's going to create 10 elements for me. Let's say I wanted to change the class names of these elements, right? One other shortcut. So for Mac, if you're using a MacBook, all these tips instead of control plus D will be command plus D or command plus any, um, any alphabet or letter I'm talking about. So on Windows, this will be control D. It will select the next occurrence of that particular Thing you want to select so you do control it it selects the next one and you can see the Keza blinking on the next occurrence you can do another control d and you can do it until the end and then now when you type edited now when you type it replaces all the occurrences of that particular text you selected so it could be this whole text and uh, that's possible as well. And when you want to, you want you want the Keza to start from the left or the start of the the selected paragraph or the end, you either use left or right. And then it goes either to the end or to the beginning of the that particular selected text. Normally what happens is, so let's say these, these all have different class names. So maybe um, two, three, and four. Let me just do like four of them. Right. So let's say you've created a common class. Um, let's say black. Obviously, I forgot the symbol. So let's do black. Let's make this color black. All right. So now that we have this, let's say you wanted uh, all the text in all these divs to be black and you want to add them, but you don't want to do it one by one. What I normally do is I start highlighting from the end of the opening tag and then I also select the, the double quotes as well. So what happens is I'm able to select the next occurrence of all these. And then when I'm done, I hit left. So it comes to the beginning of that selection. And then I hit space and then I do black. So I get to apply a common class, multiple elements. And you see how effective that is. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you apply all these things I'm talking about because they'll make everything faster for you. So in the next video, I'm going to, we're going to build a website using all these tips and tricks and everything that we've learned in this course. So I'll see you in the next one. And thank you for watching. Share this, this video with other people. Let them also learn. Let them also find out more about HTML and CSS. And I'll see you.